I'm gonna show you how to do a quick and easy oil change on this 2019 Yamaha YZ450 FX that I converted to a street legal supermoto slash dual sport. If you haven't seen my supermoto build series on this bike, I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. As you guys know, this is pretty much, this is a street legal dirt bike. And as you guys know, dirt bikes require more maintenance. Maintenance is rated in hours. But you know what? An oil change on this bike is super duper easy and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continually video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through this video is for entertainment purposes only the following items needed to perform this oil change are as follows and i will include links to everything in the description and comment section of this video you're gonna need a torque wrench, eight millimeter and 12 millimeter sockets, oil drain bolt gasket, O-ring for the oil filter cover, oil filter, O-ring for the oil strainer, and to clean the oil strainer, I use PJ1 contact cleaner, which doesn't leave any residue, and also it does not contaminate motor oil, which it says that on the bottle, and I use that to clean the oil strainer in this container here. As far as engine oil, I use Shell Rotilla T415W40, and this is JASO MA slash MA2 approved, so it is approved for motorcycle use. The reason why I use this, and I also use Shell Rotilla T65W40 synthetic in my other bikes, and I've used Shell Rotilla oils for many years on my bikes going back to 2012. My bikes perform flawlessly. I've never had any issues. This was recommended to me by other bikers, if you do some research, you'll find out this is an absolutely fantastic oil and it's inexpensive. Like I said, I'll include a link to this. Also, you're going to need padding here. I use this. Uh, this is disposable padding here to, uh, so that way I don't get any engine oil on the ground, which I always seem to do if I use newspaper or anything else. This is absolutely awesome because it absorbs uh, any oil on this. Uh, like I said, link in the description and comment section of this video. And of course, I use disposable gloves. These are absolutely awesome and durable. I get a box of these, man. Highly recommend these, they never tear. Uh, obviously gonna need something to measure and dispense the oil, which I have a container here and I have this measured. Um, and also you're going to need uh, a funnel here to put the oil in the bike. Also, you're gonna need a container to catch the oil. This has been absolutely magnificent over the years. Uh, for this particular bike, it only requires 0.68 of a quart of oil. If you're gonna change the oil filter, if you're not gonna change the oil filter, only 0.66 of a quart of oil. So it requires very little oil. The oil change is very quick and easy, as you'll see in this video, very simple. So let's get started. First step is to remove the skid plate. There's only three bolts, one here, one here, and one underneath here. Next step is to go ahead and heat the bike up for several minutes. And remove the oil filler cap. Next, put the oil catcher below the oil drain bolt. Okay, now to remove the oil drain bolt and drain the oil. With this bike, the oil drain bolt is up here. I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter wrench here to remove. Okay, wait a few minutes and let that drain out fully. See, it doesn't take long to drain because it's so little oil. Okay, now I'll go ahead and stand the bike up and see some more oil is gonna come out. See that? Okay, now to remove the oil filter cover. Okay, then I just take some shop tiles here, which I'll include a link to in the description and comment section of the video as well. Just take some shop tiles. This doesn't leave any 
any uh, pulp at all like regular tile paper tiles do and then also clean the cover as well okay now you're gonna have to remove this o-ring on this oil filter cover and replace it with a new one and just take a pick like this which I should have mentioned is one of the tools you need okay see it comes off really easy one now let's go ahead and put the new oil filter on I highly recommend that you stick with OEM uh, because I've tried an aftermarket one and it did leak oil I'm not going to mention the name uh, but stick with OEM guys you can never go wrong with OEM him put the bolts on you want to tighten the bolts to 7.4 foot pounds of torque okay now we got to remove the oil strainer that's on the other side of the bike uh, the shifter side as you can see there there's a bolt there we got to remove that bolt and then and then go ahead and pull out the oil strainer now that is a 10 millimeter Go ahead and remove that. There we go. See some more oils gonna come out. That's why I say, guy, really is helpful to have this pad in here. Now you gotta remove the O-ring right here that's on the end of the strainer. So I just use this pick here. Okay, set that aside. You're gonna replace it with a new one. But next step is to go ahead and take the uh, the contact cleaner. Just go ahead and clean it up here in this bowl here. This will clean it right up. Won't leave any residue at all. Then go ahead and put on the new uh, O-ring. Some people reuse the O-rings, which I do. I this is the first time I'm actually installing O-ring, uh, but. I would highly recommend you follow the manual and replace it with a new O-ring every time. And that way, you definitely won't have any issues, which you shouldn't have any issues anyhow. But, but you always want to remove this O-ring before you clean this because you don't want to dry out that O-ring. Let's go ahead and put this back, back in. Slide it, bam, pops right back in. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put the bowl on. Okay, go ahead and tighten that up to 7.4 pounds feet of torque. Now go ahead and put a new gasket on the engine oil drain bolt, as you see there. And go ahead and reinstall the engine drain bolt. Make sure you put it in there correctly. Make sure to tighten the engine drain bolt to 15 pounds feet of torque. Now let's go ahead and measure the oil. Like I said, we changed we change the oil filter so it's 0 0.68 per quart. So I already have that video. Put the oil filler cap back on. Make sure the O-ring looks okay there. If it looks bad, you need to go ahead and replace it. This looks okay still. I only had 20 less, I only had 20 hours on the bike. Alright. Next step, we're gonna check the oil level. As you can see there, the oil level is correct. It's at the above the top line. You want to make sure to stand the bike up when you do this. Next step is to check the engine oil pressure and you're going to do that by slightly loosening this bolt here and when you turn on the bike oil should seep from that bolt. Okay, Slightly loosen it Okay, and we'll go ahead and turn on the bike and see if the oil comes out. Okay, there it is. 
tighten that bolt back to 7.4 pounds feet of torque. Next, check the engine oil level through that little window again. And you want to make sure that the oil level is above the minimum level line. If not, add more oil until it's correct. Oil level is correct. Okay, you want to make sure to check for any leaks. There's no leaks. Looks like everything's good. Lastly, put the skid plate back on and tighten those three bolts. And let's go for a ride. <laughs> Uh, but for those of you guys who want to get my gear, like this neck brace, my dual sport helmet, my jersey, CE armor jacket that's underneath here, my camel pants, leather jackets, cameras, all my stuff. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my gear, and that's links to all of my stuff. Hit thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.